Imam al-Mahdi, most scholars say, is born. Imam al-Mahdi is born and nobody is looking for it. I cannot stress this enough that this is the time for Imam al-Mahdi. Everyone knows that the Ummah is in a very bad condition. If we cry over it, that won't be enough. We were the Ummah who were the world leaders. We were the Ummah who were one nation all over the world. We were the respected ones. We were the superpowers. But what we are now, there are no words to describe what's happening in Yemen. There are no words to describe that we don't have Iraq. There are no emotions that can express what's happening to the children of Libya. Even if you cry blood tears, you cannot express your pain over how we lost our glory in Egypt. How unfortunate it is that our leaders are, are joining hands with our enemies. The footage is coming from Palestine, from Gaza. They, they make our hearts bleed. Everyone knows that, yeah, there's nothing new in that. But the point to ponder is that there is no collective effort to look into the matter, to ponder upon the reasons behind this. We were not always like that. We were not always the oppressed ones. We have been the glorious ones not too long ago. When there is no collective effort, whose job it is? Whose job it is to pay attention? Whose job it is to figure out what's the matter? Why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala angry with us? Why has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us on the hands of beasts? Why has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us on the hands of the ones who don't care about the kids, who don't care about the elderly, who don't care about the hungry, who don't care about the women, who don't care about anything? They just kill their hyenas, their beasts, their whatnots. Why has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us on the hands of such? Why has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us on the hands of Asfal as safineen Why has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us on the hands of the ones Allah says that وَبَاءُوا بِغَزَبٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ The one who are worse in the eyes of Allah among the human beings. Why is this happening? We have so many scholars. Every YouTube page you would open, you would see lots of, lots of good talk. Every masjid you go, you see scholars telling good things to do. We go to Hajj, we go to Umrah, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there are many and many people who cry all the night and ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why is it not coming? Why are we like the worst of the worst? Everyone needs to think over it. Everyone needs to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, my scholars, my elders, look, look over here, it feels so lonely over here, shouting alone in the darkness. Why is nobody listening? It's so lonely over here. Come over, ponder upon this. Ponder upon the fact that we have been explaining through our videos that this Ummah's time is about to end. And when the time for Ummah has, is about to end, there are still some major signs that have to happen. Everyone knows where I'm coming from. Imam al-Mahdi, most scholars say is born, but everyone is sitting idle. Everyone is waiting for the big event to happen in Mecca. That's good. That's good that that event would happen in Mecca, but that would be too late for most of us. Where are the ones who would be, who, who would be the sabikun? Who would be the first one? Who would be the first ones to, to, to make him recognized to the world? I'm talking to you scholars. You have the audience. Some have millions of followers. And are we just satisfied with whatever we have? Are we just satisfied with, with the likes we are getting? The hearts we are getting? The positive comments that boost our egos? Are we satisfied with it? Why are we not thinking that there, there is something wrong? There is something wrong with the Ummah. Apart from the other things, this could be the thing that Imam al-Mahdi is born and nobody is looking for it. Nobody is asking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show us the right person to go to. And everyone thinks in their own heads that they are the righteous ones. Why? Why? Why are we not going to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why are we not turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asking Him that oh Allah show us the true person to go to? We know nothing. Why can't every scholar do that? Why can't a few scholars do that? Why can't at least one or two scholars do that? Why has it come to people or the ordinary people like us to shout this? It was your job. It is your job. 
and it is after the scholars it is the job of every Muslim to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show us the right person to go to we have to go to that person so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides us to the right path so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides us to the correct deen that Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought there are so many different things in the market there are so many different ideas there are so many different versions of Islam which is the correct one? If everyone is thinking that mine is the correct version, whose version would be the correct one? If everyone is thinking that I'm okay with whatever I'm doing, who would think for the kids in Yemen? Who would think for the elderly in Libya? Who would think for our sisters in Palestine? No, brothers and sisters, we don't have to like keep on being satisfied with whatever we have. We are the privileged ones. It's our job to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show us the right path, to show us the right person to go to, to show us the right sect that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. I cannot stress this enough that this is the time for Imam al-Mahdi and it is everyone's job, everyone's job to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show us the right person to go to. Maybe, maybe if we do that, our sufferings can come to an end. Maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would show us the right person to go to and then the whole ummah would unite and we would be glorious again in the whole world, inshallah.